we just arrived at qualifying. Qualifying determines your position, your starting position. It's vital that you get in the front. So these guys go all out on qualifying day and they don't hold back. From what I've heard, this is my first Mint 400, so I could be totally wrong, but from what I've heard, they go all out on qualifying day. because it gets pretty crazy on these events. I gotta give a quick thank you to you guys, the audience, because without you watching, I would never get these special opportunities to come to these events and have the privilege to be able to go like out onto the field and film trophy trucks taken off in the Mint 400. It's such an honor to me, it's so exciting to me. It's what I wanna do with my life and I love it. So for real, thank you so much to you guys, the audience, and huge thank you to BF Goodrich who makes all this possible. I mean, they literally have changed my life over the course of the past four or five years where we've been partnered. Hey bud. It's just a ton of fun. Come on. Thought he was talking to me. I hate vlogging in public. Oh, look at the size of those cookies. Pin, your locker pops open, and then inside you can have your device charging. Isn't that neat? Isn't that just a marvel of modern technology? Ooh, that is impressive. So we thought we were gonna ride in trophy trucks today, but it's not gonna work out. I understand if I was a racer, today's qualifying day, tomorrow is race day, I would not want some social media dude with a camera getting in my truck. And so they, they said, oh, we'll do it, but we'll do it like late tonight. And we're not gonna, we're not gonna hang out. So um, we're gonna go look at the production truck, which is a truck that they use to shoot a lot of this footage that we're watching on these big screens. Really, really cool. All right, so let's go do that instead. Um, we don't record on tape anymore. Um, everything's, you know, uh, hard drive based. 
this is like the top tier level. This is really cool for me to see. I can nerd out on this stuff. What they're doing is they're patching all this footage together. They're editing it in this trailer and live streaming it, putting it out on TV, all from one trailer. And these scenes, these scenes here are from uh, helicopters and drones. I find it really interesting to just listen to their radio chatter, you know, just, uh, listen in on what they're saying. Like a ball game or something. So this could do like three shows a week. Uh, I'm not sure how well you can see me, but one thing I find that's super fascinating is I'm listening to the radio chatter and they're actually like, they're getting artistic about it. They're not just covering the race. They're not just pointing the camera at the vehicles. They're saying like, can you get a shot of that low level fog? Get, look, that lighting looks really nice. The, the dust behind that vehicle looks really cool. Can you mark that? That's really cool for me to see because I grew up watching these types of videos and wanting to be involved in this type of stuff. And uh, man, this is cool. Hopefully you guys enjoy seeing a little bit of behind the scenes of what goes on in these events, how they film everything. I know as a consumer, somebody that's watching, you just sort of absorb it and you, you I know you that you enjoy it, but you probably don't fully appreciate it. We're getting all our camera signals to come from over the hill. We're not using millimeter microwave, we're using bonded cellular, which is essentially uh, using cellular technology as a backpack, but that allows us to have um, hitting trails we have sections where we have to hop on the highway and typically that leads me to not air down when I'm on the trails and if you haven't tried it out airing down makes probably one of the biggest differences uh, in off-roading you get way more traction you get way, way more cushion and it really smoothens out your ride I mean airing down your tires can make your ride feel so much better when you're in the snow it makes a massive difference in the sand it makes a massive difference but it is super easy to skip over over it and not do it because like let's face it we're lazy we don't want to get out we don't want to hook up hoses we don't want to hook up gauges on and off all the four tires and the best thing I've found is the indeflate system which can do four tires at once it can inflate them or deflate them to one PSI one matching PSI but this is something new this is something different and kind of exciting I think it's the teleflow system out of France they're taking military technology and they're bringing it to the off-road world and today we're gonna get a little demonstration of how it works okay so we're gonna go ahead and turn the system on boom hit the button Right now in the back, we have a five gallon air tank that the compressor will turn on. It's an ARB twin compressor. It will fill the five gallon tank up. As it's filling the tank up, making sure we have a full system to operate on, the Teleflow and BF Goodrich Active Air System is turning itself on right here. It's gonna start, see our okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it. When I hit it, it's gonna check pressures in all four tires so we have a baseline of what our pressure is. It goes with the last setting that I had the tires on, which is my road setting, which is 27.6 PSI. So it's gonna go ahead and walk through, check pressure in all four tires, and tell me that we are at 27.6 PSI. Within the system, I have quite a range of adjustments here. So if I turn my system on, you're gonna see, I'm gonna to go to pressures. I have four different settings that I'm able to select and adjust the pressures in. So if I have my road setting, it allows me to adjust front and rear axles independent. So if I had a vehicle like normally this Jeep is being driven with one driver, I would have a higher pressure in the front, a little bit lower in the back to maximize the contact patch on the ground and get the most performance out of my tires. We'll go back again. So my second setting, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna drop from road pressure to maybe bumpy road pressure, which is about as a 4.4 PSI drop. So you're gonna be able to see how long does it take for me to drop 4.4 pounds in all my tires, and then how long does it take to air those tires back up. But I have that ability to make those adjustments depending upon where I'm going, what trail I'm going on, and what I need to get the maximum performance out of my vehicle. So we're gonna go back to the home spot. You can go back and see we're all at 27.6 PSI. I'm gonna hit the button. 
and you're gonna watch us decrease 4.4 PSI. All four tires tells me are losing air right now. You can hear it. How fast was that? Like so fast. We're gonna have a pressure check here. It's gonna go back in and tell us if we've reached our desired pressures. If one went too much or too little, it'll go back in and make that adjustment. We effectively went right down to 23.2 PSI in like four seconds. Wow. So that's pretty amazing. And again, remember, I can be, if I'm going to the trailhead and I know it's up by those king banners and I want, I'm going to go do some hardcore stuff, boom, I'm going to go down to my lowest PSI setting. Before I get there, it'll go from 30 PSI to 7 PSI in about 45 seconds in all four tires. So now we're going to go back from the 23.2 back up to 27.6. It's important to know that Right now we're gonna get that five gallons is full. It's gonna discharge all five gallons of air that are stored right now. So it's gonna speed up our refill time, but you need to watch the screen because we're gonna hit our 27.6 and finish. It's gonna take three and a half minutes of that compressor running to refill that five and a half gallon tank for the next time. Airing up. You'll be able to see exactly how long it takes to add that 4.4 PSI to all four tires. And you're using a, an ARB compressor? It's an ARB twin compressor is what we've selected to use. It works fantastic for this. But as you can see, we're already checking pressure. We already aired back up. Wow, it fast. started at 3.05 on my clock. And when you just said that, it was 3.22. Pretty That's quick. Insane. Pretty amazing. So just like that, you get the system. The compressor is going to run to recharge. The system can run without the air tank. When you're doing a 30 PSI to a 7 PSI, like you're going in Moab and you're getting off the trail, going back to the road, it's nice to have that five gallons of air just go boom, right in the tire to get us to a higher inflation pressure at a quicker speed. We also, for those that may ask, have a power tank system in the back running in the, the liquid CO2. So it's dual, this right now can run on dual system. If I'm in a closed environment, I don't want the vehicle running, I can set the power tanks up and I can have it with no noise use those tanks to air up and air down the tires as well. So it is however you want. And again, this is on both. If one if compressor failed, I've got it hooked up to power tank that I can have it as a backup. So no matter what, we've, we've got the majority of the uh, items covered that people may have questions on how am I gonna get air? What's the best delivery source? What happens if that source fails? A lot of people have power tanks and ARB compressors, ARB compressors to run their air lockers that could go over and refill the tank if you've got the twin. The non-twin air compressor would not be recommended to operate this system your uh, fill fill speeds would be significantly higher so the twin compressor I think is the right uh, part for the application to be able to do the job correct I'm gonna say that you've said this a couple times <laughs> not only is BF Goodrich on the cutting edge of tire performance and technology is adjustable air pressure makes all the difference in the world to how your right. tires perform so now they're giving you a way to take the tire performance that BF Goodrich gives you into a separate management system to really take its performance to a new level. So this Jeep behind me has been equipped with the Teleflow system and uh, there's an air compressor in the bed. Pretty cool. Not only can it inflate these massive tires because there's a there's a big tank, there's like a five gallon tank in there. So it can inflate the tires really, really fast. It can also deflate them at the press of a button. And there's settings. You say you're on the road, you hit that button, it takes you to a proper road pressure. If you're hitting rocks, it'll take you to there. If you're hitting snow, it takes you there. And they can integrate all sorts of different systems like S-Pods, cell phone apps, or a monitor on the dash. I don't know, this is something that I would totally put on my Toyota Tacoma seems like the perfect vehicle for that because it's such a multi-purpose vehicle where I'm hitting the roads and then I'm doing rock crawling and then I'm doing desert stuff or whatever. I think this is a cool system that's coming out and I'm really excited to see them getting on some overland vehicles. And as far as I know, nobody's covered them yet. So I thought it might be something you guys might be interested in. Look forward to seeing this come out in the future. Well, that was really cool. I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of a nerd for the technology and the off-road community. And uh, that was cool sharing some ideas from, from the perspective of like an overlander. I actually had talked to them about making a system that allows you to balance or, or level the vehicle. So all they would really need to do is integrate software to uh, have some sort of level. And the tires could deflate or inflate in different ranges to sort of level a vehicle. And they were actually pretty interested. They wrote it down. So if it comes out, just let it be known. 
your man Max figured that shit out. <laughs> Just to kind of fill you in on some of the cool technology that's coming out in the off-road community. If you're interested in everything else I'm doing out here at the Mint 400, make sure you check out my Mint 400 series. We're doing all sorts of cool stuff with BF Goodrich this week. Uh, watching the races, I already rode in the Rob Mack trophy truck, which was a, an awesome life experience. And uh, there's still a whole nother day of racing ahead of us. So cool, thanks so much for watching. Get some work done this week, but don't forget to live. Bye.